Hi, I'm Isabella He from Signal. In this video, I'm going to show you how Signal ensures least privileged access to your APIs by protecting API gateways such as AWS API Gateway, Apigee API Management, Azure API Management, Kong Gateway, and MuleSoft. For this demo, we will walk through an example use case with AWS API Gateway. As APIs expose sensitive customer data, network resources, and application controls, API security is critical to an organization's security goals. However, as modern organizations employ a complex structure of applications and databases to store and control access to their enterprise data, securing APIs is incredibly challenging. As more than 40% of organizations have faced an API-related breach in the last two years, according to the 2023 State of API Security Report, Signal provides a solution to the critical problem of dynamic enforcement of API security. Today, many organizations use API gateways to manage, monitor, and secure their APIs, allowing them to enforce rate limiting, request and response routing, monitoring, and static role-based access control on their API usage. While an API gateway is essential in securing APIs, it lacks the capability to make API authorization decisions based on dynamic business justification. Without data from a company's range of SaaS applications, such as incident response platforms, ticket management, or HRIS services, API gateways lack the business context and policy granularity needed to authorize users for API usage based on continuous access evaluation. Oftentimes, ambient excessive permissions are left in place due to complex application requirements or burdensome API security and access reviews, allowing API clients access to sensitive API endpoints and the data that they expose. Unauthorized access to APIs can result in accidental sensitive data leakage, inadvertent elevated permissions for a user, compromised user accounts, and deprecated security controls due to constantly changing APIs. For instance, in a 2023 security incident, after an access request that lacked business justification resulted in unauthorized access to a company's APIs, a bad actor gained malicious access to the personal data of over 30 million users. Thus, there is a crucial need for eliminating standing access to APIs to protect sensitive data. Take a fictitious company called Inatech Digital, for instance. Inatech Digital is a global enterprise technology platform providing network services to other organizations. Inatech Digital uses AWS API Gateway to secure their published APIs in their internal applications, AWS, and other services in their environment, which expose sensitive information or capabilities such as user data, company resources, account management, and application admin control. If a user without proper business justification accesses these APIs, such data and resources are put at a security risk. Inatech Digital is a prime example of an organization that can enhance their API access management through Signal. Signal has integrated with API gateways to add authorization layers to APIs managed by gateways such as AWS API, Azure APIM, Apigee, and more. For example, for AWS API Gateway, Signal leverages the AWS Lambda Authorizer to send authorization requests to Signal for access decisions returned at runtime. This configuration enables Signal to be involved in the decision-making process for the permissions granted to a user in the process of making a request to an API. Let's examine this scenario. Inatech has designated a role-based access permission in AWS API Gateway specifying that all employees with the role of developer operations are granted full admin access to the APIs protected by AWS API Gateway for use in emergency situations. Alejandro, an employee in the DevOps team, is therefore allowed to access any APIs protected by AWS API Gateway at any time for any reason. In this example, Alejandro may need to escalate his privileges to solve a problem by using an API. Without Signal, Alejandro is always given access to all the APIs protected by AWS API Gateway allowing him to access and manipulate sensitive information or application controls that may be beyond what he needs to solve the problem and thus has business justification for. For instance, let's say that Inatech uses AWS API Gateway to protect access to the AWS through APIs. Using Postman for this demonstration, Alejandro will now attempt to call on the Get Object API to retrieve data from AWS's cloud storage service, AWS S3. As you can see, Alejandro is allowed access to this API, giving him unfettered access to the data in S3 buckets, which may include sensitive customer data, security credentials, and more. But should Alejandro always have this heightened level of access to APIs, which allows him to view sensitive data, modify user permissions, and more, regardless of whether he has a business justification to do so? I want to introduce you to the Signal platform, which helps organizations answer that question. 
Here is a signal dashboard for Initech Digital, which integrates with systems of record to unify critical business context that is applied to policies to inform real-time access. From the signal dashboard, we have a policy configured for API emergency access, protected systems that are integrated with signal, and systems of record that provide signal with business context to perform continuous access management. Going into the policy tab for emergency access to APIs, we can see that the current policy is that DevOps principles can access sensitive APIs. For this demonstration, this policy is set up to be consistent with the role-based access policies that Initech can currently configure in AWS API Gateway, where all employees with the role of DevOps can access sensitive APIs with elevated privileges. Now let's jump over to Signal's access logs to see how this policy works with access decisions. Since Signal synchronizes access management across systems of record, Signal makes auditing access easy with information from all systems of record in a centralized platform. Now let's filter the logs for Alejandro to examine his individual access decisions. We can see that when Alejandro is authorized to access sensitive APIs, as all DevOps employees were allowed to access per the role-based policy, and he was able to access all these APIs despite not necessarily having the business justification to do so. This is where Signal can step in to provide contextualized, continuous access decisions. Let's delve deeper into the systems of record that are synchronizing data into Signal to support these policy decisions. Similar to numerous organizations, Initech Digital makes extensive use of third-party SaaS applications to manage their engineering team, customer service, employee directory, and human resources. They've integrated their applications as systems of record into Signal, syncing Signal's policy decisions with Jira, PagerDuty, Salesforce, Okta, Azure Active Directory, and ServiceNow. Now, with data from these systems of record, we can configure our policies in Signal to further restrict access to APIs to users with significant business justification. So let's go ahead and further restrict this access to ensure that only the right people can get access to sensitive APIs at the right time. Beyond restricting access to the sensitive APIs to users with the role of DevOps, let's also ensure that the user can only access the APIs if they are on call in PagerDuty. Taking a look at what this condition means, we can see that access to these sensitive APIs is restricted to on-call users from PagerDuty, which means that they're responsible for handling emergency situations. Now, let's go ahead and save this new policy, go into our protected systems, and update the assignment to our updated policy. With this new policy in place, let's now give calling a sensitive API another go. Since Alejandro isn't on call yet, we'd expect that he is denied access to all these sensitive APIs. And as you can see from Alejandro being denied access to execute this API call, Signal has successfully configured AWS API Gateway to deny access for a user who did not have a significant business justification to execute protected APIs. With that, let's now come over to PagerDuty to assign Alejandro as an on-call engineer. So let's go into the schedule and schedule an override for Alejandro to take over a shift. We can now see that Alejandro is now on call in PagerDuty, which means that he meets the criteria that we've defined in our signal policy for emergency access to sensitive APIs. Jumping back over to Postman, let's give executing this API another go. And we can see that Alejandro is now able to execute the AWS S3 API call as he has the business justification to do so. Now let's say that Alejandro has completed his on-call duty. Let's go back into PagerDuty and let's have somebody else overtake Alejandro's current shift. Upon doing so, we can see that Alejandro is no longer on call. Giving the API another go, we should now see that Alejandro has lost access to sensitive APIs protected by AWS API Gateway. Now that we've demonstrated how Signal provides organizations with the ability to restrict access to users with timely business justification, let's go back into Signal and take another look at the access logs. We can track Alejandro's access decisions, saying that with Signal's policy condition, he was denied access when he was not on call, he was allowed access when he satisfied all policy conditions, and denied access again when he was no longer on call. This aligns with the policy that we've defined in the Signal console, specifying the need for PagerDuty on-call status. As I hope that this demo has helped demonstrate, Signal is changing static and role-based access control to continuous contextualized access management. With Signal's integration with API gateways, such as AWS API Gateway, Apigee API Management, Azure API Management, Kong Gateway, and MuleSoft, it's easy to see how organizations can augment their access management policies 
alongside their API management solutions. To learn more about Signal, visit Signal.ai.